What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be climbing the ranked ladder for November with a team made by Cloverbell. I'll make sure to link in the description below a video where they put out a bunch of rental codes, and they're all really strong. This one caught my eye because it has Bax Caliber, who is really cool, pun intended, and Gastrodon, who's also cool, but like, a cute little guy. I don't know. I like it. Anyway, the idea here is Bax Caliber with loaded dice can boost up its speed with Scale Shot, or just do massive damage with Icicle Spear, and this Sneasler can coach it to give it attack and defense boost. You can also coach this King Gambit, you can also set up with Volcarona while Rillaboom uses Fake Out, or Sneasler uses Fake Out, and then Gastrodon? Gastrodon's here, it's like a little bit of glue. It finishes the Firewater Grass Core, it's got some good coverage into the meta, it's good into rain teams, and it has Clear Smog for Dondozos. So overall, really strong team. I'm ready to play it. Hopefully I can get to Master Ball. Let's go for it. Alright, we've got a Ryu Nicholas. Uh, Tyranitar, Golden Go, Ryu Nicholas. Mandibuzz, Excadrill, and Como O. So it's a sand team. They've got an overcoat, they've got a sand rush, they've got a potential another overcoat. In fact, that whole team could be overcoats. Uh... So no spores, got it. Uh, I won't bring spore. Don't you worry. Tyranitar Excadrill, Como O, Golden Go. None of that likes Gastrodon. We have Earth Power and Clear Smog. So I like Gastro a lot. I think Rillaboom needs to come too. And then something for Golden Go. So I need uh, Rillaboom. Doesn't need to be on lead though. It totally could. Something for Golden Go would be King Gambit or Volcarona here. I'm leaning a little bit King Gambit. There's potential for Body Press Como O, which this team in general doesn't handle super well. I could just bring both. Or do I want to bring bags? You know, bags might not be bad. I'm thinking like, oh, bags caliber doesn't work here. It's weak to it's weak to like a couple things, but not everything. And if we somehow save Terra Ghost, it's actually pretty good into Como O. No trainer card. Boo. Assuming it's an Iron Defense Body Press Como O. That's what I usually see paired with Tyranitar. Right all right, Tyranitar Excadrill, Gastrorilla. It's a good start. Good start. Let's see, how are you going to react to my fake out turn? You don't have anything crazy you can do. I could fake out T-Tar and like yawn it. I think they could be like a protect and a Terra this turn. I want to go for Earth Power into Excadrill and fake out Tyranitar. Tyranitar just swaps, okay. Is it a Protect then in the swap? It's a Mandibuzz. Okay, so going for Yonder would have worked. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, the Excadrill slot isn't super safe now. We get to at least see whether Mandibuzz is chipped by the Sandstorm. I think I assume it won't. I assume it's overcoat. It's like its best ability, right? Yeah, no chip. All right. What comes in on grass and ground? Nothing. Let's earth power and let's. I'm just gonna click grassy glide. I think the combo will be enough. I don't want to take unnecessary recoil, risk a flinch, risk Mandibuzz being like Shelly's fan or something and Okoing me. We're seeing an X control Terra into grass. That's so perfect. Dang. I don't see that ever. I think Grassy Clyde actually did okay damage. Oh, uh, they're a sword dance set. If I just click clear smog, that'd be so funny. I'll play my Rilla. That's gonna hurt. Less than half, though. Okay. Clear Smog can finish that. Definitely after a glide it could. But... I 
could protect Gastrodon, bring Rilla into King Gambit, have Sucker Punch pressure. But they go after Rillaboom. I think they might go after Rillaboom instead. I'm gonna click Clear Smog into Excadrill and bring in King Gambit. The Iron Head, my Rilla King Gambit can take that. I think Gastrodon could probably take a plus two high horsepower anyway. Ooh, that is a big click. Should have just protected. Alright, Gastrodon eats. It's fine. Gastro's fine. Oh, like shouldn't be too much of King Gambit. Oh, that's fine. Here's Mog! No more stat for you. We got him in Sucker Punch range. Uh, Gastro, what do you want to do now? You want to yawn the Mandibus slot while we lock down Excadrill. Yeah, that works. That works for me. I guess Mandibus could have taunt. I think Excadrill might protect, it might swap. But the yawn keeps them on their toes a little bit. And the Sucker Punch makes sure they can't just high horsepower into my King Gambit. That would be the worst thing. But yeah, they just protect. That's fine. What does Mandibuzz do? Tailwind, baby? Yeah, yeah. You were faster anyway. That's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and be super, super annoying. Sucker Punch should finish Excadrill. But if they swap, we wanna click Earth Power, got it. I will Earth Power Excadrill and I will Sucker Punch Excadrill. And one way or another, something's getting hit. Mandibuzz probably considers swapping here. Excadrill probably also considers swapping. A double swap wouldn't be crazy from them. Come on. Come on, Gastrodon. You got this. You totally got this. They're going to bring in, like, Golden Go, and you're going to Earth Power it, and it's going to be beautiful. All right. Mandibus swaps first. Excadrill's staying in. So actually, maybe I get the Sucker Punch and an Earth Power on Tyranitar. Maybe. Yeah. Beautiful. I guess they could have Swords Danced there. Or gone for a double protect, in which case I wouldn't have done much, but I did not expect them to do that. And first power! I've already burnt Terra, so another one of these is coming your way in a second. That didn't do much at all, though. You're a Zalt Vest, that's for sure. Oh, thank you, Sand, for leaving. That'll help. They are a Salt Vest Tyranitar, so there's a chance they have Locate. There's Combo O, which definitely has a fight. Let's hit the Combo O with Yawn. Terra Flying Iron Head the Tyranitar. Tyranitar is not quite as scary. I do want to Yawn Combo O. I think I do. I want a Terra Flying. Iron Head Tyranitar, because if we can get Como O locked on the field and asleep, that would be great. Don't know if we can KO Tyranitar with Iron Head from here. It might be a little too bulky for that. But I protected myself from any fighting moves. And I'm doing my best. I don't think they would rock slide. I guess they could call that rock slide. Okay, you're gonna iron that. I'm gonna make you go to sleep. They do have low kick. I thought you might from that Earth Tower damage. Ooh, Iron Head, knockout. Let's go. Como O is going to bed. And since Body Press doesn't do too much to King Gambit here, I think I don't need to swap King Gambit. I'll just protect Gastrodon to keep it safe. And what, start wailing on this Mandibuzz? Seems like a play. Protect Gastro so I can't get Body Press down. And I 
with Terra Blast Mandibuzz. Yay, Gastro! Yeah, body press, nope. And then I can clear smog and go for a Terra Blast over there. I'll play will do a lot more to King Game at this time. That hurt. And Coma always sleep. And their tailwind is gone. Uh I go for clear smog on Como O. King Gambit can live a foul play. <laughs> but that's okay, I'll get Mandibuzz in. Uh, not Mandibuzz, I'll get Bag's Caliber in, which should be pretty good. We'll go for another Terra Blast into Mandibuzz here. They could get, decide to go Tailwind here instead of foul play. But nope, they just foul play and they cook KO King Gambit. That is probably okay. I think Bax Caliber can come in here and just take out Homo O now. Should we try to take out Mandibuzz first? How much speed do we got? This Homo O could have Protect and could wake up. 52. That's a lot. What's Mandibuzz's base speed? 80? Yeah, Bax Calibre's faster. We should just take out the Mandibuzz with Icicle Spear and then start chipping away at Como. -O. The defense boost is gone. If they wake up, they would protect, probably. I'm just gonna click Earth Power into Como. -O. Icicle Spear the Mandibuzz. They didn't go for Protect. Three. And four Spears. Bye, Mandibuzz. What's Como gonna do? He's gonna wake up? Nope. Okay, well that should be GG then. Earth Power and Icicle Spears should be plenty. You don't have your defense boosts anymore. Uh, you go for Protect, you try to wake up, get a little Leftovers recovery. I don't know, I don't see it. I don't see the comeback potential. One. Two, yeah, four should do it. Three. And four. Goodbye, Como O. Vax Caliber. Doing work. Gastrodon was here too. Gastrodon was important. Gastrodon was probably more important. Max Calibre was just the cleanup crew. Gastrodon did all the work. GG. Get a trainer card. Alright, we've got Dragonite, Sylveon, Talonflame, Tyranitar, Amoongus, and Rillaboom. That's a cool team. Um, I'm not seeing exactly what their game plan is though. I'm definitely scared of Sylveon just going burr. My best answer to that is Volcarona, but Volcarona does not appreciate Tyranitar or Dragonite or Talonflame. Terra Grass is pretty cool. Gotta get rid of Talonflame first, though. Bax Caliber, not on lead. Uh, I guess King Gambit can threaten pretty much everything on their field. So maybe I go with King Gambit, Volcarona Endgame. Sneasler seems okay as well, dealing with Sylveon. Just put everything to force Sylveon to be afraid. Backs Volcarona in back? There's not much support here. I mean, I have my Sneasler for fake out. I definitely don't want Gastrodon. I don't have my sleep Im I mean, Volcarona with Terra is a sleep immunity. I don't have enough sleep immunities otherwise. But are they really going to bring Amoongus to this matchup? I don't think so. My guess is Tyranitar and Sylveon and maybe Talonflame. 
Interesting is Tyranitar and Talonflame have a little anti-synergy, unless they're Goggles Talonflame. Oh, no trainer card. Not a good look. And you've got... Talonflame D-Knight, all the flying types, okay. King Gambit is fine if they don't have low kick or like stomping plus flare blitz. Uh, I do have Flying Terra. I could just coach up Flying Terra, hope King Gambit can sweep. It's not safe to just click Fake Out on Dragonite. Let's Flying Terra. Tao Tao cleave the Dragonite and coaching. This can go wrong. A double up into Sneasler, a dual wing beat into Sneasler, a Will O Wisp onto King Gambit. I'm doing this to cover for like Stomping Tantrum or Low Kick, but if they just don't click those, then this was a waste. Also helps for Square Blood if they have that. Okay, just Brave Bird, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. Break your Gale Wings. Not that your Gale Wings will matter much. And the Light Warp Talon Flame. Okay, they probably do have Flare Blitz. But they just didn't click it. What's Dragonite going for? Low Kick. Perfect. Alright, we caught that. That's good. And that's multi scale. Alright. So Sneasler, you're what, faster than Adamant Talon Flames? Let's we're about to find out what they are. Um, I could Sucker Punch the Talon Flame. That would prevent a Brave Bird into Sneasler. But they could Extreme Speed the Sneasler. Don't want to give them Volcarona. Alright, who sw switches into a Kowtow Cleave? Just about anything that wants to. Alright, let's... Terra Blast Talonflame. And I will just go for a Dire Claw on Dragonite. I think one way or another they're going to prevent this. It's possible they don't. Okay, maybe they don't even go after Sneasler then if they're setting Sand. That makes sense. They're just going to take me out with the sand. But I get a Dire Claw off onto Tyranitar. That's something. No status, huh? Alright. Wish I was Poison Touch. Oh yeah, I'm unburdened. I was faster than the Talent line. Well, it didn't matter. They protected. Which is the right play. But it lets me get into my back's caliber. Which is pretty cool. Uh, you go for Tailwind Rock Slide 100% of the time here, right? King Gambit can take that and retaliate with Iron Head. While Bax just protects the turn. Do I need to click the Go button now? Guess I could also Ice Shard the Tyranitar in case they pull a Terra. They're not going to, it looks like. How is Bax faster than your Talon Flame? That Talon Flame is this. Alright, Rock Slide doesn't do too much, thankfully. Iron Head should finish it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I think this is an attacking Talon Flame, so now we could maybe throw a Sucker Punch. They could protect it. Their Life Orb with Brave Bird, Protect, Tailwind. It's gotta be Flare Blitz. Sylveon is here. Piper Voice is a threat. But not to Volcarona. If I can Sucker Punch this Talon Flame down. Maybe I'm okay. If I get the Sucker Punch and Talon Flame is gone, they don't have anything left to handle Volcarona. Got it. Yes. Okay. Um, I haven't burned Terra yet. 
9 HP on King Gamut, that's not enough. I don't think Bax Caliber is in E speed range. Maybe if they're choice banned, though. <laughs> have low kick. Choice band extreme speed clean up here maybe? Especially if you're Terra normal, probably. Uh, either way, I need to quiver dance here. They go for what? Extreme speed on the backs for sure. Do I go for a double protect? Do I ice shard to force them to Terra? Okay. They're choice band. They should be able to take out Bax without terrestrializing. They're not choice banned. I don't even think they're choice banned. I'm gonna go for the Ice Shard into Dragonite, just because I probably don't get the double protect anyway. I want to cover for as many options as possible. I do think the double protect is probably the better play, though. Paranormal. Yeah, they're gonna obliterate Max Caliber. No, they went after Volcarona. Who only barely lives. That's not enough health. Good game. Good game to my opponent. Using cool on. Well, Sylveon's cool, at least. I don't know. They're a little more meta. Good game. I got several turns wrong there. I guess I could have protected Volcarona then. Eh, GG. Alright, we've got they've got their own Sneasler, King Gambit. <laughs> Talonflame, Primarina, Archaladon, and Snow with nine tails. Okay. Snow will actually help our backs a little bit. Don't love fighting a Ninetales, though. Do we just want to coach up? Because the Talonflame can't willow us. We can dodge a fake out with Ghost Terra, I think we have. <clears throat> and... Yeah, let's just, let's just do the thing right off the bat. And then we need something for the Ninetales. We have Iron Head on this King Gambit, which is good. And finally, I mean, Volcarona is also not bad here. Like, what does it do poorly into? Just Primarina. And if we preserve Terra for Grass, I mean, Grass is worse into everything else, but it's fine here. Gastrodon seems okay. It doesn't redirect Hyper Voice, but it's immune. Um, but I, yeah, I think I'm going Volcarona. Have a special attacker. To hit that Archaladon, hits it hits everything really. The only thing it doesn't really hit is Talonflame, I guess. Okay, finally they've picked. Let's go. I'm hoping to get up into Master Ball with this team alone. If I can go, uh, I don't know. We'll see. They've got a trainer card. Everyone's doing the chicken dance. They're not doing the chicken dance. Is there a chicken dance pose you can do when you take a photo? I don't think so. Talonflame and nine tails. Okay, do they just really want their Aurora Veil set up? I am cool with an Icicle Spear into Talonflame and fake out the nine tails. Is there a chance they're Cloak? I feel like Talonflame is more likely to be cloaked. And then I don't have to worry about like a Specs Dazzling Gleam this turn if I fake out. So yeah, I'll Icicle Spear the Talonflame. And just fake out. They protect the Talonflame. You got Protect on both? You do Protect on both. Okay. Interesting play. Uh, I, my biggest fear would be like Dual Wing Beat. From Talonflame, then. Plus, a move into backs. I 
could pull Sneasler out for now. King Gambit seems pretty safe. And what, protect with my backs? Just to get some positioning? That might work. I'm not ready to commit Terra on backs. Just to take out Talonflame, because like, I don't really hit nine tails. Yeah. I'll go to King Gambit. Maybe I'm being a little too careful. I don't... They could just click Dual Wing Beat here. I guess I could Terra the Sneasler here and go after Ninetales. No Terras. Just Tailwind Moonblast or something? Just Brave Bird. Okay, we could have that on Sash. And then I'm guessing you set up Veil. Yeah, that's fine. Brave Bird Protect. You would want Tailwind and Taunt, so I don't think you have room for Will-O-Wisp. You have Will-O-Wisp. Good for you, I guess. Uh, I want an Iron Head. And then I guess I should just Icicle Spear the Talonflame. Like, yeah, they might protect- they might terrestrialize Ninetales, but they also might just protect it. So I'm gonna go Icicle Spear Iron Head. Yeah, they, they just swapped it out. I, I guess I could have doubled into that slot. Who's coming in? Uh, doubling in wouldn't have been that great. Flare Blitz is their last move. Okay. They dropped Font. Alright, whatever. But that's a reasonable set. Can't really complain about that. They got two fairies left. Well, this takes out, right? Bax, you got me, right? You're not going to let this thing live. Alright, they don't get Tailwind. That's great. And I can bring Sneasler in, who is Sash, and can threaten something. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll want to double protect from the fake out turn, that gives me a free coaching. Oh, they got their Sneasler. Ho ho ho. In that case, let me Terra Ghost my backs. Try to Icicle Spear down your Sneasler. And what, fake out the Primarina? Go for a coaching? I think there's a chance they just double protect. So I want to cover for that by going for coaching here. I don't think I'm in a great position, but it's definitely a winnable position. Alright, Ghost Pack Scalibur, online. Let's see what we can do. They fake out into our Sneasler? Okay. Should have gone for fake out into Prime then. I didn't think they would just fake out and attack. I guess that makes sense. If you win the speed tie, at worst, you get faked out. If you lose the speed tie, at least I can't Dire Claw you. I have Terra Ghost on my Sneasler though. So maybe I could have. Alright. Uh Honestly, offensively Bax isn't that great anymore. I wanna get rid of this pre-marina if I can. Uh let me scale shot Sneasler. I'm wondering if I want to double into pre-marina, because it's pretty safe for them to just protect Primarina. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the Scale Shot, and I'm still gonna go for the Dire Claw into Primarina, but they could Terra, they could protect. They're withdrawing their Sneasler. That I did not expect. So, good job on taking this Dragon move. Oh, but you didn't, you didn't Terrestrialize your Primarina, so I get a Dire Claw and a Paralysis. Let's go. Can I get a full Para? There's Citrus Berry, okay. Well, he said. Scale Shot does nothing, of course. And Volcarona got me? I don't know. Snow is done. Veil vale is still up, right? So they had eight turns of Veil, vale, so they have that item. <laughs> Oh, they set up Veil a turn later, so yeah, we don't know if they have that item yet. 
here. I do what? I protect and quiver dance. Ninetales can't do much to Volcarona. It might be scared out. Primarina can do a lot to Volcarona, but might be fully paralyzed. Might be threatened. Terra from who? Ninetales? Primarina. Crap. Okay. Okay, that kind of works. Since I protected bags. I can maybe like heat wave your nine tails down next turn, assuming I live. I think I should live. Like Blizzard's gonna do nothing. Well, actually nothing if it misses. And you're Citrus Berry, you don't have any boosting item. So Hyper Voice isn't gonna take me out at plus one. Then I can like heat wave and what, Ice Shard? Uh, my best bet would be Bax Calibur is faster than Primarina. So I should only rely on the Heat Wave hitting one thing. So I should Icicle Spear into Primarina. And then if Heat Wave hits the Nine Tails, we're good. Did we confirm their veil? Yeah, they're Light Clay. They're not Sash on the Nine Tails. So I can Icicle Spear into Primarina. And I just need Heat Wave to take out those Nine Tails, which behind Veil, probably not. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if Ice Shard would have done it from there. The heat Wave does take out the Free Marina. Ice School Spear also covers if they were to swap. There's a Moon Blast in the backs, I think? I think Heat Wave's got us. How much health did their Sneasler have? Did I hit it yet? So I definitely need to protect on the fake out turn. If they're even gonna risk going for a fake out. I don't remember how much damage I did to their Sneasler. A lot. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I have to protect here. Fake out turn. Don't want to give them a free fake out poison touch or whatever they've got. <laughs> The Ninetales is faster. Interesting. So they're probably an unburdened set. Which means they might have some bulk. Which means I shouldn't try to risk Giga Drain. Though I think their Veil is still up. I would, Giga Drain would never KO through Veil. Yeah, they got one more turn of Veil. I have to Heat Wave. And I have to hit Sneezer. I don't have to hit Ninetales. Who was that? That's the one I... I can live a Dire Claw, so... Burn? Nothing? No effects. Perfect. No effects whatsoever. Your Veil is gone. There's no way plus one Giga Drain can do it from here. We've got a little special attack, but it needs to be Heat Wave. Volcarona, you need to got me here. Volcarona, you got me. Let's go. Let's go, Volcarona. That match, I felt like I was on my back foot the whole time, but Volcarona got me. I was only on my back foot because of the misses, but it's fine. GG. Alright, we've got... Oh, what is this? Clefable, High Dragon, Cerulege, Mineshow, Ursaluna regular form, or Hisuian form? Whatever that Ursa Luna is. And Dragonite. Just cool nuns across the board. I love it. Uh, the strategy here is... There's setup. There's Fake Out and Follow Me. Maybe it's Focus Energy High Dragon. Bulk up Serral Edge. I don't see Trick Room. I'm not sure what the bear does. Maybe there's a Tailwind and it's a Fast Bear. That would be scary. But uh, let's interfere with their setup. But also bring something for Clefable. Because our setup doesn't like to see Clefable, but Sneasler can threaten it. So let's Sneasler and. I wanna say Bax Caliber, so we can ignore a fake out turn one, but going Terra Ghost feels bad. Maybe King Gambit. I think 
it's Bax Caliber. Yeah, Sneasler, Bax. King Gambit does feel good, but Ground and Fighting and Fire. Volcarona seems useless. I do think Gastrodon's good. Oh boy. I'm gonna go King Gambit. I'm worried that Volcarona cannot touch a Ceru Wedge. <laughs> if they've got Flash Fire. Uh, there could always be some shenanigans going on here too. That's a trainer card. You got a tree. Take a picture of a tree in the distance. Okay. Mind Shout Dragonite. This could be coaching. This could be fake out. This could be a good opportunity to terrestrialize Bax Caliber. Um, do I want to try faking out the Dragonite? Because that either breaks multi-scale, but Icicle Spear doesn't care about multi-scale. Maybe what I want to do is coaching back. Terra. Try to get rid of Mineshaft. Get rid of the coaching. Because I don't I don't know what Dragonite's gonna do. It could terrestrialize. Oh, though if I'm going Terra Ghost, they might not feel the need to terrastalize in front of a Fax Calibar if they're clicking fake. Oh, they protect Dragonite. That's cool. I'm so cool with that. Are they gonna protect coaching? Wouldn't love that. I would love you to just click close combat right into my back. They do coach. Okay. Fair is fair. I wasted my tarot, though. Oh, uh, but now I have the combo. I assume plus one Icicle Spear takes you out. Yeah. Now I have the combo of Dire Claw into Icicle Spear. You can always bring in Clefable. Clefable wouldn't appreciate a Dire Claw on its own. I guess Clefable, and then you Scale Shot. That would be scary. Here's Clefable. I'm gonna click Dire Claw. And Icicle Spear into Dragonite. If Clefable wants to redirect, it's gonna have to Terrastalize and redirect. That's a lot of commitment. Here's the Terra. On the Dragonite. Into normal. This could work. This could work for me. It will probably take care of Clefable if it goes for follow me here. Which we still haven't seen. At least it's not protecting. E-Speed would have taken out Sneasler if he weren't Sash. Let's see, did you follow me? You did not. Ooh, we might take Dragonite. Status? Para? I'll take Para. Para's pretty good. Ice Spear. One. It's not going to be enough. Two. Three. Unless one of them crits. Four. Only four. And then you, what, you double into Sneasler? That's fair. Do I think the Dragonite would have? Extreme speed protect. Your Terra normal. Probably scale shot set. Might not be able to touch King Gambit at all. Well, with scale shot it could. Yeah, I'm gonna go King Gambit. It threatens the Clefable. And I'm gonna click Iron Head right into Clefable. What, take a Protect turn? In that case, I should Iron Head Dragonite. Just in case Clefable wants to Protect. I'll Iron Head Clefable and Protect. <laughs> now, if they have Low Kick, I don't see a path to victory. There's Iron Head. Good damage into Clefable. It has a berry. Eh, that's okay. And Dragonite couldn't move. Who cares if they had Low Kick? Alright. Uh, Icicle Spear probably takes Clefable. 
So I'll then kowtow Dragonite. I could swap King Gambit just in case they have low kick. But if Icicle Spear takes out Clefable, we're fine. I'll Iron Head Clefable and Icicle Spear Dragonite. If it uses Follow Me, the Icicle Spear will go to Clefable. And if it KOs, Iron Head will go to Dragonite. That should be okay. It'd be funny if both moves go to the thing I didn't target, but... Now, if Icicle Spear doesn't KO here, and they have Low Kick, or if they just Scale Shot and take out Bat, all that would be bad. It looks like Icicle Spear is going to be funny. Now, make sure Iron Head is plenty. I kind of wanted to click Kowtow just to, in case this isn't enough. I think it will be. Not enough, but Flinch Chance is on top of this, yeah. Para plus flinch. That was a little lucky on my part, but wasn't crazy lucky. Icicle Spear should take out Ursaluna no problem. And then I can just kowtow Cleave Dragonite. Yep. Should be cleaned up now. Battle is cancelled, they see it too. GG opponent. That was kind of fun. Alright, we're fighting Indeedy Metagross, I spin? It's the only expanded force user. Oh, they also have Murkrow, High Dragon, Golden Go. That's a good combo there. And Mind Shao. Maybe it's Mind Shao coaching Metagross? Metagross should be a physical attacker. It's like one of their only physical attackers. But Murkrow Tailwind plus Golden Go or High Dragon is what I expect to see. High Dragon likes to go Terra Fire Heat Wave, which is terrifying. Against Golden Go, we need King Gambit. And. Volcarona? Yeah. King Gambit Volcarona, that's our go anti Golden goes right there. We see High Dragon, we got a retreat to Gastrodon. Excalibur doesn't feel good here at all. Golden Go and Metagross both wall it. Sneasler gets walled just by Golden Go. Don't love that. I think maybe Rillaboom. I don't know what they're doing with Psychic Terrain, but I want to stop them so that I can Sucker Punch. So I think these are the four I need. I don't think they're in the right order. But they might be. No, I think this is probably fine. I don't want to lead Rillaboom, of course. Because then they could just get terrain turn one and I'd have to swap out and back in. I don't want... I guess Gastrodon in front might be okay. Squawkabilly! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Is it Golden Go? Because I've been ready for Golden Go. Golden Go Mind Shell. That's not exactly what I expected. But I don't hate it. King Gambit does hate it. I take that back. King Gambit hates this a lot. <laughs> so what, they could... They're threatening the close combat into King Gambit. So I kind of have to terrestrialize and hope he exalt it. Kowtow the Golden Go set up a Quiver Dance. Seems to be the play. If they fake out Volcarona, they risk getting burned, so I don't think they want to go for a fake out into Volk. If they have Power Gem, we're kind of sunk. That's, that's a rare move, though. Going for a Terra. I would guess this Terra is Steel Golden Go. Just to cover the... Yeah, just to cover the hit from King Gambit. Because even if you close combat into King Gambit, which means they're not going to fake out King Gambit. That tells me that much. They could put close combat into King Gambit anyway. They could be faking out Volcarona. This would keep them very safe if they're faking out Volcarona. But they still risk the burn, so I don't know if that's worth it from your end. You're not going to Oko King Gambit. They do risk the burn. Do I get it? Yeah, thanks. Mind Shao neutralized. Your fault. 
They have power gem. Never mind. That's bad. <laughs> they had power gem the whole time. Alright, they're choiced into that. But I just made myself weak to it, so. Kata does a ton. Mind Chow is burned. Okay. Let's go Rilla. I don't know if they would still have a needy in the back. There's probably a high dragon in the back though, which is scary. Cover everything Golden Go is gonna do. It's either gonna click Power Gem into King Gambit, or swap into like High Dragon. So we could like Sucker Punch, fake out that slot. They're probably gonna swap it. I think they're gonna swap it. I'm, I'm gonna try to cover for the swap. Yeah, I'm gonna Iron Head and Woodhammer Golden Go. They did not swap. They are doubling into King Gambit. Could a Sucker Punch. Oh man. Power Gem Golden Go is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, it should be gone now, but too little, too late. Goodbye, Golden Go. Oh boy. Damage done. <laughs> Assume they have High Dragon left. If they have Metagross left, that's not as bad. We're playing kind of a 2v1 since Mind Shout doesn't do too much damage. It does remove our items though. And I don't really have much of anything left for High Dragon. I did not think they would do that. So what, I was supposed to just go for Sucker Punch there? Get two KOs? Huh. Yeah, here's High Dragon. Maybe it doesn't have Heat Wave? Let's put a Yawn on it, I guess? And... There's no way I'm breaking through High Dragon. Gastrodon 1v1? If I take out my Chow and yawn High Dragon, High Dragon will be trapped in. I lose my berry already. And they go straight for Draco into Gastrodon, which we eat really well, actually. Eject Pack. I have not seen that before. Okay, we're gonna yawn something else. We're gonna yawn Metagross. Uh, without recover, I don't think this Gastrodon can win this. Take out Mind Chow. No wonder they just attacked King Gambit. They really needed to get rid of King Gambit. Oh boy. Uh, yawn here. I can make Metagross sleepy by protecting. Maybe they see that coming. And then Gastrodon has to take another Draco Meteor. Not likely to happen. Yeah, I'll protect Gastro and eat the damage on High Dragon. I'm gonna wood hammer it. I guess this game isn't technically over. They could miss a bunch. They just have flamethrower, not even heat wave. Can't miss that. But we live. We'll probably KO ourselves. Good damage. Now, Metagross, I need you to use Explosion right here. That's, that's not Explosion. It's also not very much damage into a Gastrodon, I don't think. But Draco should be plenty. So, my best play, Clear Smog shouldn't knock out High Dragon, so I need to Yawn. And I need to dodge Draco. And then, and then, and then, and then. And there's a lot of and thens after that. Well, we don't dodge it. GG. <laughs> oh, it was the Power Gem Golden Go. It got me. 
I wouldn't fall for that in a best of three, but you got me. GG. Good trainer card. And we're back. This team did not quite make it to Master Ball. Hopefully in my next video I'll be making it. Anyways, thank you very much Clover Bells, for making this team and making it public. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace.